Let's look at how to set up a variable product using WooCommerce and also how to style it in a more user-friendly fashion for instances such as color, which is a little bit more friendly than the native WooCommerce dropdowns. And this is all using free plugins, actually just one addition to WooCommerce. Actually, we're going to go to plugins and the plugin you're going to want to add, I've already added, but so we're going to add this variation swatches for WooCommerce. It's a free plugin. So go ahead and install and activate it. I've already done that. Now in products, attributes, In this instance, I have three attributes, color, design, and size. So you'll add a new attribute like I've done, such as color. So you would say color, the slug, unless you have a different name for it, I would just leave it blank and it'll autofill the slug for you. The swatch variation plugin lets you select more options here. So I've selected image for my color because the textures of the glitter are not just a solid color. But if you wanted to, you can choose type as color, then you'll get a color picker box. So I've chosen image and add attribute. So now it shows up on this side. You'll need to configure your terms for your attribute. So I've added some here. I'm going to add just another one. Let's do red and I don't have a red image currently. So that's going to be slightly confusing, but we'll just grab one of these. So you can see this example. I'm going to refresh the page. You shouldn't have to refresh. For some reason, mine is making me refresh to see that. So now I have another color added along with the rest of them. Now if we go to products, the one I would like to edit is this one. We want this to be a variable product. Go to attributes and now select each of your attributes and each of the terms you just created. So I'm going to select all but the red one since that's not a legit image. We want this to be used for variations. I'm going to minimize that and go ahead and add design. Select all terms. And lastly, size. You can reorder these if you'd like. By clicking and dragging. Next we'll go to variations and I want variations for all forms of attributes. So let's create variations from all attributes. This may take shorter or longer time depending on how many variations you have. So I've got 48. And we can look at these individually. You can add an image if you have images for each product variation. You can add your price and sale price. So this might take a while if you have a lot of products and a lot of variations. For setting a price for all of these, in the drop down you can do set regular prices and go. Now it's going to ask what I want all of these to be. So I just want these all to be the same. So $13. 
if you needed any of these to be more or less, you'd have to go individually edit. And let's go ahead and update. And refresh the page. So now you can see that these are no longer drop downs. You can select and see the actual color and these labels are a little more stylized. I can also show you an example on if you select an image for the variable. So let's say we have a uh, silver one. I don't currently for this. But if I had a silver product image, I can upload it. That way when you would select the design and the color, it would switch out this image. So if I actually edit, you'll be able to see on this one I did have product images for silver. So right here, and then on the front end, you can see when I select silver and the size, it'll switch out the image to show a silver style.